Registrar's office, well, long before commencement, we'd start getting the call. Calls about parking. No, no, definitely not. You can't park there. Calls about dress code. Um, caps and gowns are required. Calls about rehearsal schedule. No, it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. No, really, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> Lots of calls. It was a nightmare. Cap and gown distribution went on and on. We'd be climbing over boxes for weeks. Many of our graduates didn't realize that it's my job to help them find a job. You know, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to participate in commencement. I mean, I had so many other things to think about before that can happen. Well, it's tough to get the attention of graduating students. I mean, they just have so much going on in their lives. That's really the beauty of grad finale. Well, we saw a unique opportunity to help schools simplify the graduation process for their students. Our Johnston's rep came to us and asked us to co-sponsor an event where our students could address all their graduation issues quickly and in one location. Well, what it is, is it's really a one-stop spot where you can get financial aid assistance, find out about the Alumni Association, work on your pre-commencement paperwork, and get some job placement information. Well, it's much better for the students, and for me too. They can pick up their caps and gowns and order gifts and rings and announcements all at once. No, it's just a better way for schools to service their graduates. They get individual attention from the moment they walk through the door. Oh, we have definitely increased the membership in the Alumni Association. And I'd have to credit the personal contact we get with the students at Grad Finale. You know what? I was able to do a laundry list of things. I mean, I checked my credits, talked to career services, even got my cap and gown in a half an hour. And it was just one stop. That was the beauty of it all. Well, I coordinate the planning team, we pick a campus location, and we work together to make sure that the event really meets the needs of the students and the school. Yeah, it was fun. We worked with a lot of other campus departments we don't normally work with. We picked out music and decorations. We wanted to make it a celebration. Justin's really helped us get the word out. All of the graduates got a brochure. There was lots of signage and high traffic areas all over campus. They even took care of all the printing and publicity for the event. Well, each grad finale is different, just like every school is different. I do everything I can to make sure that each one is a success. I really thought it was cool that my school was trying to make graduation easier for me. I went back to the bookstore with one box of caps and gowns. You gotta like that. I checked most of the name spellings of our graduates. It really cuts down on the number of diplomas being sent back. Student traffic is definitely up at our job placement office. I got to speak with most of the graduating class, which never used to happen. By coordinating our efforts, I think we were able to do more for our students in a lot less time. Johnston's really knew how to put it together. <laughs> oh, it's really helped us send our students off with a great feeling about our school. Guys, if you look up here, I think... After grad finale, I sit down with the planning team. We talk about ways to improve the event the next time. We're always looking for ways to make it more successful. Grad finale was a big help when the pressure was on. I can't wait to graduate. It's going to be a blast. Legends. Symbols, customs, traditions. Penn State has been passing them on from year to year, generation to generation, century to century since 1855. Today, these traditions live large, live loud, live lovingly here at Dear Old State. From College Avenue, to Park Avenue, Atherton Street to University Drive, from Erie to Allentown, from Wilkes-Barre to Fayette, traditions surround you as landmarks, hallmarks, benchmarks. Walk by historic Old Main. Its clock is a gift of the class of 1904. Drop by the 108-year-old creamery, our cherished and most delicious tradition. Stroll beneath the majestic elms on the mall. They've shaded and awed Penn Staters for generations. 
Then, make a must stop at our monument to tradition. Powerful, vigilant, fearless, the Nittany Lion Shrine captures forever Penn State pride, poise, class. Is there a bigger homecoming tradition than guarding our famous mascot? These are all examples of what we call the Penn State Circle of Traditions. From fall football at Beaver Stadium to the Summer Arts Fest in State College, traditions revolve around our year. From the inspiration that is La Vie to the intimidation of... From our favorite snack, grilled stickies, to our famous paper, The Collegian, traditions circle this campus. They surround our world at Penn State, and they encompass the world of sports. The Nittany name and lion mascot, the blue and white school colors, our plain uniforms. These great traditions have taken Penn State men and women athletes to 56 national team championships. In everything, from football, soccer, boxing, gymnastics, and cross country, to volleyball, fencing, wrestling, lacrosse, field hockey, and bowling. Penn State coach Joe Paterno is college football's living legend, appearing in 30 bowl games. Only the famous Penn State Blue Band has appeared in more bowls. One more, and the band is 104 years old. Our traditions also circle the world of charity. The legendary Thon, Penn State's dance marathon, is the largest student-run philanthropy in the world. Since 1973, it has raised over $23 million for kids with cancer. No other school comes close to our giving spirit. We are love. Finally, when you consider Penn State has the largest alumni association, whose allegiance is downright fanatical, it's no wonder Penn State traditions are retold and relived, circling the world. Now soon you'll graduate and enter that world. We have an idea for how you can stay in touch with your school's legends and customs. How you can stay inside the circle of traditions. It's by wearing the symbol of that circle, the official ring of Penn State University. Created by Jostens, Collegiate America's legendary jeweler, the ring is made of world-class materials and crafted with state-of-the-art precision. It features our school name and colors, and the Nittany Lion Shrine. Your graduation year, Mount Nittany, Old Main, the Thon's Four Diamonds, and 1855. The lion paw on a pedestal, and elm leaves. For 148 years, Penn State has passed on its legends, symbols, and customs, passed on its circle of traditions. Today, a new tradition is born. It's the definitive symbol of that circle, the most logical form to capture the great traditions that surround our school, the most visible way to tell the world you are Penn State. Here today, you'll have the opportunity to invest in this new tradition. We invite you to join us. Come honor our circle of traditions by wearing our circle of pride. The year 2001 approached, and as you prepared to step into your leadership role as a first-class cadet, you received your academy class ring, a ring designed by your class when you were sophomores, a ring unique to the class of 2001. This tradition of designing a ring to represent the U.S. Service Academies dates back to the West Point graduating class of 1836. The competition to design your ring was not just an individual contest, it was a team effort within your class. For while the academy crest remains unchanged on one side of the ring, it was your class that conceived the design of your own class crest. And after collaborating with Justin's ring design specialists, representatives from your class reviewed the ring model and suggested refinements before the final version was approved. But that was not the end of the process. Still to come was the tradition of choosing a unique treatment for the metal that was to become a special blend in each one of your Academy class rings. 
first 80 students to purchase uh, the university class ring or our official ring will receive their class ring tonight in a ceremony. Hopefully each student that will receive their ring tonight will always remember that they um, received their university class ring from the chancellor with a handshake and at the alumni center. Or something happens that makes you think not about what's happening right then, but that brings back a whole flood of memories of things that have happened to you before in your lifetime. And your ring will do that. It is the kind of object that at certain moments in your life, you will look down at it and you'll think about some things that you perhaps hadn't thought about and didn't expect to think about that day. You'll think about friends who mean so much to you. And knowing that their friendship is there, maybe even if you haven't seen them in five or 10 years, it's there, it's as strong as ever. It'll be a comfort to you at a particular moment in your life. We gather this afternoon in the Ochre Point Chapel of Salve Regina University for the ceremony of the blessing of the senior class rings. All the seniors came forward with candles and they then lit their candles from the Paschal candle and were blessed, not just the rings, but themselves, that they continue to be successful, they continue to achieve as they have for their three years now at Salve Regina University. At last came the ring dining out. The history of the Air Force Academy has been captured in that ring with its image of the eagle symbolizing our country and the majesty of flight. The cadet saber signifying a special commitment to a military education and to the cadet way of life. The Polaris star, a symbol of the guiding light or true course. And both your graduating year and the number of your graduating class the 43rd class since 1959, designated in Roman numerals. Your crest also includes your class motto for the year 2001, forces of many, power of one. You christened your ring and toasts were shared to your country, to your fellow cadets, and to yourselves. And then for the first time, you wore your ring in public. For the next year, you'll wear it with pride, with your class crest facing your heart. Past accomplishments you may have owed to parents or friends, but this you have done yourself. You have earned the honor of wearing the ring of the United States Air Force Academy. I think I'll keep it. A new tradition has its birth this night. This Oklahoma Christian ring symbolizes your accomplishments. It is a visible reminder of your obtaining an important goal in your life. 